Welcome back. In this video, we shall learn about data types and variables in JavaScript. Before we talk about the different data types in JavaScript, we need to understand what data is in computer science. Data is anything the computer processes to give meaningful results. So in JavaScript, we will talk about five data types for now, and they are strings, integers, booleans, floats, and null. Let's start by explaining what a string is. In JavaScript and every modern programming language, a string is a set of text values. And in JavaScript, a string is written like so. What you have to note is that a string is always written with quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of it. The next on the list is the integer. In JavaScript and all programming languages, an integer is a number, for example, 5. And in JavaScript, a number is written like that, 5, no quotation marks or anything whatsoever. A number is always a number. Over to the next data type on our list, which is a Boolean. A Boolean in JavaScript and every modern programming language is true or false. Booleans are used to say if something is true or false. In JavaScript, Booleans are written like so. True or false. You may not have to always use the or here. Just say true and false. That's how Booleans are written in JavaScript. And don't forget to write everything in lowercase. JavaScript is a case sensitive language. So true is not the same thing as true in JavaScript. And you must never write false like this. This works in Python and maybe any other language this works for. But in JavaScript, true and false are all written in lowercase. The next data type on our list is called a float. In programming, a float is a decimal number. The difference between an integer and a float is the fact that a float looks like this. And an integer looks like this. An integer is a whole number. A float is not a whole number. In JavaScript, floats are written with no quotation marks or brackets. A float is written the way it's written here. And this is an integer. So the difference is, this is a decimal number and this is a whole number. The next data type on our list is the null data type. In JavaScript, a null data type is a data that is set to a null value or that is set to nothing. As simple as that. Before we jump into the next video, let's talk about variables. In computer science, a variable is used to store data. This makes it possible for the computer to reuse the data and manipulate it for different results. Let me use a bag of rice as an example. The bag is the variable that stores the rice for the chef. And anytime the chef needs the rice, in our case, which is the data, the chef will head over to the bag, which is the variable that stores the rice, which is the data to get the rice. In this case also, the chef is the computer. And the chef being the computer can manipulate the rice, which is the data, into different results like Chinese rice, jollof rice, or even fried rice. Let's see another example. In programming, if I want to set the value of Emeka's age, Emeka is my friend by the way, if I want to set the value of Emeka's age in my software, I will store the age in a variable and anytime I want to access Emeka's age, I will call the variable that stores his age value and it will return the age value to me. This brings us to what is known as defining and assigning variables in JavaScript. To declare or define a variable in JavaScript is simple. We just say 
by using the VAR keyword before number, you have declared that number here is a variable. And you can also use the let keyword and the const keyword to declare variables in JavaScript. So let's say let age const location. Like I said earlier, you can choose to keep the semicolons or not. What we have here means that number is a variable, age is a variable, and location is a variable. So this is how you declare variables in JavaScript. If you have a word you want to use as a variable, to declare that word as a variable in your code, you use the VAR keyword or the let keyword or the const keyword. The difference with these three keywords are the var keyword is used to declare a variable that can be used anywhere in our code. The let keyword is used to declare a variable that can only be used within a scope in our code. When I say within a scope, I mean like within a function or a class. We'll get to that later. And the const keyword is used to declare a variable whose value cannot be changed anywhere in the code. So when you declare a variable using const and you set it to let's say 10, it's always going to be 10 in the code. You can't change or reassign that variable to any other value. Now let's talk about assigning variables. In JavaScript, after declaring a variable or defining a variable like this, you can choose to assign a value to that variable or not. So if I want to assign a value to my number variable here, I would say, and that's it. I would use the assignment operator, which is the equal to sign, to assign any value to any of my variable. So I can say also age is equals to 22, location, and this has to be a string, Africa. As you know, number, number, and string. So age is always going to be an integer. Number is always going to be an integer. But location, which is Africa, has to be a string. So that's why I'm having the quotation marks here. So with these, I have assigned the value of 120 to my variable called number. And I've assigned a value of 22 to my variable called age. And I have assigned a value of Africa to my variable called location. So let's practice how to use the various data types and how to assign values to variables using various data types. Let's get rid of all of this. And let's say var name, names, let's say migrant solutions. So with this, I have assigned a string value to my variable called name. Let's say var age, let's say 23. With these, I have assigned a value of 23 to my age variable. And let's say, let's use the const keyword. I am, okay, let's say I am human. Let's say, let's set this to true. With these, I have assigned a Boolean value to my I am human variable. This means it is true that I am human. Before I go to the next line, let me explain something. When writing variables in JavaScript, it's always, it's always standard to use the camel case format. And when I say camel case, it means you start every variable with a small letter in JavaScript. So, I can have a variable that says what my name is. As you can see, what my name is starts with a lowercase w and the next word which is my with an uppercase m and the next word which is name starts with an uppercase n. After the first word, every other word in your variable name has to start with an uppercase letter. And also, it's not good practice 
to write variables like this in JavaScript. As you can see, we have an error flagging already. You cannot have three words or two words separated by space. And also, it's not good practice to use the underscore character. It's not good practice in JavaScript. So that's why we always use the camel case format like this. So let's say let average. This is going to be a float. And that's a float. And let's say var friends set it to nothing. Now let's console.log all of this to see what we have. Let's say console.log let's console.log name let's console.log age let's console.log I am human let's console.log average and let's console.log friends before I run this code I want to point out something as you can see when we say console.log name the word name is not surrounded by any quotation mark and that's because the word name here is a variable not a string the word age here is a variable not a string the word I am human average and friends are all variables not strings you don't surround variables with quotation mark you only do that with strings this is a value and this is a variable so that's why we have console.log name now let's console.log something we don't have there let's console.log a string that we don't have present you can see I'll put that in a quotation mark this is my string and you can use a single quotation mark or the double quotation mark whichever works for you so let's save this and let's run this to see what we have come over here click on run code slash reload to run your code on screen bar. Now let me pull up the console and let's see what we have here. As you can see we have migrant solutions which is the name 23 which is the age value. I am human which is true and we have the boolean value here for the average and we have this string here in our console that says this is my string. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.